Apple released iOS 8.1 today, and along with it, its new mobile payments platform, Apple Pay. Apple Pay isn't the first mobile payments platform. There's been others from Google, ISIS, and a couple of other companies, but it is the first one that works on the iPhone. So we've got Apple Pay loaded up on an iPhone 6, and we're gonna go figure out what we can do with it. The first thing you gotta do with Apple Pay is get your cards into your phone. Editing a card is actually really easy. You just go to the settings menu, passbook and Apple Pay, add credit or debit card, and then you can actually take a photo of your credit card and it will grab the numbers off of there. You just add some things to confirm. And for this particular credit card, that's all it took. Now if I go into my passbook, you can see I've got that credit card right there. Apple is supporting Visa, MasterCard, and American Express right now, in addition to a handful of national banks. If you have a smaller local bank or credit union, chances are you're out of luck today. But Apple says 500 more banks will be on board by early next year. Apple says that there are 220,000 stores and retailers supporting Apple Pay right now, but it can be harder to find places to use it than you might think. Here in New York City, we couldn't buy trinkets at a pop-up stand, a hot dog from a cart. Do you take uh, Apple Pay here? No, no. Okay, thank you. Or a pack of gum at a newsstand. Do you take Apple Pay here? Can I pay with my phone or no? No? Okay, thank you. But if we went to one of Apple's launch partners, such as Dwayne Reed Drugstores or Macy's, buying something is as simple as holding the iPhone 6 in front of the credit card terminal and using our thumb to authenticate the purchase. It worked as Apple's advertised, and we were even able to pay for our cab ride down to the Macy's store with our iPhone. Credit card security has been a hot button topic of late, with countless retailers being hacked for the personal data that they store. With Apple Pay, the credit card data and the fingerprint authentication are stored on a secure chip on the iPhone itself, making it much harder for a hacker to access personal information. At least in theory. Your name, credit card number, and security code are never shown to the retailer where you are shopping. We'll have to see if Apple Pay does make a difference in credit card security. If so, it could be the most revolutionary part of the whole platform. So we had a little bit of success and a few failures trying to use Apple Pay today. It's really not that much different than any mobile payment system we've seen before. But since it's on the iPhone, more people are gonna be using mobile payments than ever before.